Hey everybody, how y'all doing? I kind of goofed last night. I had the welder going and one of you guys that I was talking to last night said, uh, did you videotape it? i like, no. I kind of got a, a groove and was going and uh, that just did it. Uh, so right now I'm waiting. I'm heading to the doctor. No, not for no COVID or anything like that. Uh... I've got, from my back to my toes, I've got some major issues going on, and it's time I better get checked out because um, I really don't want to start losing extremities. Uh, I haven't slept good the last few nights. Uh, last night my left leg was locked. I couldn't bend it, move it, or anything. And, uh, yeah, I, I can't lay down. I can't get comfortable. It just, oh, uh, it, it, but I still get up and uh, try. I didn't make it over to the Camaro yesterday because I barely, I, I barely could get up off the chairs yesterday. So, day's a little better, but not much, but. Anyway, uh, so yeah, I thought, well, I could sit down and do some welding. So, and I wasn't welding steel either. I was welding aluminum. I'll show you guys here. This is the Offenhauser intake that I want to use on that motor there. The old hunting truck motor. Well, you get looking there. Can you tell that I welded that hole shut, drilled it, tapped it, and put a Healy coil in it because that one's got a Healy coil and go, since this one is a wet hole, I wanted the Healy coil in there so I should have less chance of the thermostat housing bolt um, season in there. I still got to find a plug for that. And... I got a tap and hopefully we can just chase the threads and clean those up and get that to where the pipe plug will fit again. So I'm hoping, but we'll be messing with that here in a little bit. But yeah, I wanted to make that a blind hole, but I couldn't figure out how to get inside there to uh, weld up in that corner there. So I would have had to, so I just reached in, started at the bottom of the hole with the Aluminum welder welded it shut. Then uh, see see the red that's left. That is a low spot, but that's out past. And I got a little bit of a wetness mark there. Well, there was some pitting in that intake anyway, so I'm going to have to use our uh, sealant with the thermostat housing. So all that should, and I got to put thread sealer on that bolt. This one is a blind hole, see, that one is into the metal. But yeah, we're going to, uh, so I colored that all red and hit it with the sander I was using and it all come off and that's what it left, so that's when I stopped. So, and I set that on without a gasket, there is no rock. It's, it's set nice and solid, so I got that and then I got the correct, because uh, we ain't done fixing here, in here, all eight of these, since I don't know which carburetor I'm going to put on here, all eight holes have got to be fixed. Uh, this poor intake has been abused over the years, but... And then I got looking, and this is not a dual plane. This is just, if this was cut out here, this would all be open. There is nothing, no intake runners. I mean, there's just nothing in this intake it's crazy this intake would probably work really good on a set of heads so I want to keep this around but I want to get I want to get that motor there running and that so I got two more bolts to get the plug of water passage since I did not put the adapter on that block to make it a dual dipstick uh, we just turned it back into the old 69 350 it is I think that was a 69, I don't know. It's an early school 350, so. 
Let me get this set up in the camera. We're going to see if we can chase the threads and we'll do fix the carburetor mount bolts holes. All right. Now we're going to start off. See what we can do with that hole. And there it is. That's for your heater hose area. And they treat these things like pork knots or metal plug in the package. Anyway. And okay. Ha ah, so. Well, maybe that is the same size. Okay, that one is the same. Okay. Anyway, kind of hard to get started straight because threads are boogered up in there. Somebody was not nice to this intake at one time. And that's why I'm trying to chase them. And with a pipe thread, you don't want to run all the way down because uh, your cap gets wider as you go deeper. So, hey, where's that piece? Hate that when you just had something that you know is just here. Oh, there it is. Ah, I didn't want to call that a success. Oh yes, I like that. I'm happy with that. And here, for you guys, uh, you know I got to plug this hole. I'm not going to put the breather, and I don't want to weld that shut or anything in case I do put this on a motor that has that. But. Uh, Might just go a little bit further with this. But, uh, anyway, I'll show you here in a second. Yes, yeah, so I'm getting sidetracked. That felt like a good cut that time. Yes, that looks better. There's just one little... Hmm. Yep, okay. Now, back to what I was saying. Your alternator, if you notice, this intake, that'll come from the front on, has no provision for your alternator bracket. 
This would have been for an old intake that uh, had the alternator mounted out over over here or down low. But anyway, somebody was thinking when they ran this, they took, since this is not a used hole, they made that to put in that hole so you can mount your alternator bracket. I was like, man, somebody was sinking there, so. But yeah, I like how that all come out there. But, uh, okay, that can stay in there for now. Yes, that looks a lot better. Still looks a little funky, but there's just one piece there, but right there I don't like. But it's not loose, it's not coming out. <sighs> anyway, now we got to, uh, get set up to do all eight of these holes and this is a new uh, setup they didn't have the normal heat Napa Healy coils they've gone to this thing which is the driver for the tap and also the installer so we're about ready to find out how well this thing works together and I need a 164s drill bit doing this with a good set of bits makes a big difference 2164s okay got her brand new bit Yeah, I know. I got an idea for a jig so I could do this on the drill press. But, like I said, I got the welder out. I'm ready to have some fun. So, that is a sharp bit. down in there. Nope, not at the bottom yet. Now I am. And well, that bit just grabs and pulls it right down. One's not on the way. Yeah, okay, you use that one. Okay. This one. And this one. Want to make sure they're all the way down to the bottom. Just a little bit more. Down to the bottom, down to the bottom. One more to go. Okay. 
That should be the end of the drilling. Yep, yep, yep. Well, oh, oh. this one right here. Okay, now I'm happy with those. So now, uh, get old Fort Knox packaging here. They'll sell you the stuff, but just won't let you get into it, huh? I'm trying to get into it without making a big mess here, so. Oh, really? Well, that side wasn't done very good, which is good. There we go. Yeah, well. Yeah, okay, that can stay there for now. That was almost bad. That was almost all the drill bits. Only one fell out. So I did get there. So. Yeah. Kind of cool. Brand new sharp tap. So, about the driver. I thought it was a metal, but it's plastic. I'm going to do that to keep the threads from getting bound up down in there. It's been a while since I had to do this to an intake. Just a little further. They sure don't give these kits away anymore. 28 bucks for this thing. But there's 12 inserts, so I'm gonna eat up eight of them already. Looks like we're down there. That, oh yeah, we're
Yep, we're down as deep as what we're going to go because the first part of your tap here is your tapered cutter. So you got that much. So yeah, we're down in there. So now with that, I'm not going to bore you with all eight of these, but uh, now this little tool here, it's got a slot there. And just like that, we got good new threads, and you can't forget this step. Break off the tab down in there and shake it out. And there you go. You've got now one th repaired threaded hole for the carburetor mount. So I got. Seven more to do. Double check this. And I got to find out if the. I'm kind of thinking this is a silver paint or some kind of paint he put on here. But I got to figure out what it is or maybe it is a natural aluminum. If it is, I might have to take it back and have them blasted again because of the welding marks. So. Alright, I'm going to fix the rest of these. Yeah, I'm back. I had to run off somewhere for a little bit, and we're back. And whoever ported this must have used, uh, I mean, they ma match pretty close. It's not enough. I'm, this ain't a race motor and that, so we're just going to uh, put her together. So... Up on that motor. Anyway, uh, let me get set up. Before you start putting a uh, silicone on, make sure that you got your bolts. This is the ones I I went over to grab them out of the cabinet, and I'm like, uh oh, I thought I done used them. I think this was the last set, so I'm gonna have to get some more. But uh, there you go, she's bolted on now. Uh, got nice squeeze out on both sides. This intake just sets a little different on the, the front of the motor here. It just kind of, it, it's not like a modern day intake where it hangs over. Uh, uh, yeah, you can kind of see that one hangs over, but uh, the old Offenhauser is on, so now we're getting closer to having that one ready to go so alright well I also found out something else I can't use this one because it goes right into the valve cover luckily I had that one laying around have to get her cleaned up and that so but yep the intake's on and that is back uh, that's rough board but that's the old rusty 63 327 never heard from anybody on that so we got it back home definitely needs another soaking in the evaporus but uh, when I know it's going up well and also want to change these over to screw in plugs and all that but I guess if it doesn't get sold I'm going to turn it into a 302 Chevy so we could have fun with that but yeah things here in the shop are starting to get a little room so you got that motor over there that I need to get going on but I honestly don't know what's going to take place so I guess I'm see what happens at the doctor's tomorrow and 
I'll go from there. So, anyway, I'm gonna. Thanks for watching. And uh, this one's getting really close to being on the dyno or dyno. Dy yeah, I would love to dearly dyno it, but uh, yeah. God, that looks so nice. I kind of like that. So, anyway, see y'all later.